I want to ask you a question, my friend. When you move in the direction of what is it that you truly desire in your heart, do you move in that direction because you are hoping that once you reach the end destination, you will finally feel whole, fulfilled and complete? Or do you move in that direction with the intention to care for whatever it is that you truly desire? It's like you do what is asked of you. You move in that direction because you truly care about what you're doing. Because it makes sense for you. It is important for you. Because this, my friend, is literally the distinction between success and failure. See, on one end, if you move in the direction of what is it that you truly desire, because you are hoping to get somewhere, achieve something, finally feel fulfilled by experiencing the validation that you are looking for, if either from people or circumstances that you're hoping to experience, if that was your intention, then you are not prioritizing self-care. So if you are not prioritizing self-care, how could you expect to feel at peace, to feel at ease, to feel fulfilled, to feel whole, when you are not feeling at ease, at peace, whole and complete, while you're in the process of manifesting what is it that you desire you are not prioritizing self-care how could you ever shift into your highest timeline are you still making that error because i did for such a long time i did and it's just not worth it it simply is not worth it and you know why it's not worth it it's not worth it because it does not work it's painful it literally recycles the pain that you are hoping to get away from once you get some somewhere in the future and once you get there you won't experience that pain but since you are hoping that once you get there it will go away you are literally recycling that same pain and you're acting from that pain hoping that it will go away and it won't it won't go away so what is the other option you might ask the other option is to prioritize self-care above all. To prioritize self-care above the outcome that you're hoping to experience. Self-care, my friend. Go to the places that you enjoy being at. Spend time in nature. Focus on your feelings. Read the books that you want to read. Do the things that you know you must do that will move you in the direction of what you desire because you care about them, not because you hope that they will get you somewhere. Do them because you care about it. Does that make sense? Can you accept it? Can you prioritize self-care in everything? It's like this is your intention. It's a mindset shift, right? It's whatever I do, can I do it for myself? Can I do it because I know this makes me feel better? Can I, with this video, for example, can I just shoot it because I know it makes me feel better? Because I know that if I speak about what I care with passion, with love for it, it's enough for me, it expands me. Or do I have to shoot it because I hope that it would reach somebody? It might, I don't know. If it does, great, but I am not able to control that. It's not under my control. So whatever it is that you do, whatever it is, whatever the type of job or business you do, you're serving your clients. Why do you do it? Is it because you care about the process of serving somebody you love in the field that you enjoy working at? Or is it because you hope that if they are fulfilled, you would be fulfilled? When you go to job and you're, I don't know, doing the projects that are asked of you, do you do it because you're hoping to get the validation from your boss and that you'll get the improvement in your job. You'll be in a better position eventually once your boss finally validates you. Or do you do it simply because you enjoy doing that job? You enjoy doing your responsibilities at that job. See, this is the thing. When you go out with your specific person that you're hoping to be in a relationship with, do you go out on a date with them because you are looking for some future that is always like a phantom somewhere, but it's not certain? And uh, you are trying to 
get something out of that person to secure a relationship with them? Or do you go out with them simply because you enjoy spending time with them? See, do you do it for self-care purposes? Prioritizing self-care because you care about what you're doing? Or do you do it because you hope that it will get you somewhere? Which means that it won't happen, but you, either way, you try it. You try to escape the pain of the moment, the present moment, because eventually once you reach your end destination, you'll feel better. No, it doesn't work that way. Sorry to tell you that, but it's not real. It's, it's literally impossible, my friend. It's literally impossible. If there is one thing that's impossible, that is it. You cannot force reality to give you a state of being that you are not willing to give to yourself because you are making yourself reliant on circumstances and people. And both circumstances and people do not rely on you. They have their own free will. People have free will. Circumstances, it's like you play a part in them, right? But they do not depend solely on you. There are a lot of things that play a role when we look at how and when circumstances manifest, the right circumstances in me. So you cannot make your state of being reliant on them, my friend. You just cannot. Life is seasonal a lot of times. There are lessons that we need to learn. There are shifts that we need to pass through until the moment comes that we are able to experience what is it that we truly desire. And we cannot force that. It's not possible. Give it up. Give it up and prioritize self-care. You know why? Why? You could ask that, right? You prioritize self-care for one simple reason. The reason why you prioritize self-care, that reasoning, my friend, it is because it is totally, absolutely, 100% reliant on you. If there is one thing that you can control with absolute certainty and confidence, this is your own state of being, my friend, because your own state of being is 100% subjective. So if you prioritize self-care, this will inevitably position you in a place where you're experiencing your highest timeline. You are shifting into it. It will come into your life without your knowing. It will come as a blessing. It will come as a surprise synchronistically without you knowing how because you prioritized your state of being, because you started caring for yourself. So this is my message, my friend. Take it, accept it, make it yours, and live through it and see what is possible. If you are able and willing to take that risk to prioritize self-care and forget about outer circumstances, magic will happen, my friend. This is my promise. And it is my promise because it is the truth and the truth holds power. And if you're following this channel for some time already, you know that I care about the truth. Self-realization, self-awareness, these are things that are important for me. I hold them deeply in my heart. So the truth is important and the truth will set you free, as Jesus said, or many mystics, <laughs> honestly. So anyways, prioritize self-care and this will shift you into your highest timeline. Try it and see what's possible. Thank you so much for staying with me. I'll see you around in the channel. Bye-bye. Enjoy your day.